My sister Sarah has a vibrant personality, loves being around people, and has a ton of gifts to offer the world. But when she graduated high school, she graduated with a certificate to be stuck in my parents for the next 10 years. 10 years of life wasting, right? Of wasting the potential she could have contributed to the world. And not to mention the additional happiness that she could have experienced and also that she could have brought others. So your loved one with a disability might be having a similar experience to my sister, feeling stuck at home to some degree. Or your loved one might still be in school and you're concerned about what your loved one's gonna be doing once they finish school. Our society, unfortunately, pushes people with disabilities to the margins. And it happens by default. Right? This happens in our school system, in our government systems, and organizations, right? Organizations offering special programming that's separating people with disabilities from ordinary life or excludes them entirely, right? But it doesn't have to be this way for your loved one. So my sister graduated high school with that certificate of unfortunate isolation to my parents' basement, and it lasted 10 years until we made a change as a family. And I wanna tell you about this change because you can make this change in your family too, right? And that's good news, right? Because no matter how old your loved one is, it's never too early and it's never too late to start to make this happen. And the change that my family made was starting to build an awesome ordinary life plan with my sister. And you can do this for your loved one too. We needed to realize as a family that there were ordinary opportunities available for my sister. So the ordinary YMCA community classes, the ordinary library programs, the ordinary gym workouts, the ordinary apartment living, the ordinary friendships and more. But to make all this happen, we needed a plan because we were destined for the special, the group home, the day program, right? But we needed a plan to get us off that track and onto the awesome ordinary track. So we created a life plan, right, with my sister. And that's when things started to change for the better. Even though my sister had 10 years of isolation, she was able to make a significant shift to have a better life. And here's the thing, there's people who, who lived in those big institutions, confined to four walls for 50 plus years, cut off from the rest of society, who with support have been able to build their best life in ordinary community at the age of 80, sometimes even older. So it's never too late to get started. And if your loved one is in school, you might be asking, is it too early to get started with creating a life plan in this awesome ordinary life? Well, all the time I meet parents who say, I wish I knew how to help my loved one live an awesome ordinary life 20 years ago. Where were you then? Well, I was in university and <laughs> at that time I probably wouldn't have been much help, but that's besides the point, right? The best time to start creating an awesome ordinary life plan with your loved one is right now. It's never too early, it's never too late to help your loved one build that awesome ordinary life. If my sister had a life plan created for an awesome ordinary life when she was 16, she would not have lost 10 years to boredom in her 20s. And she would have been way further ahead than she is now. But with that said, we created a life plan. As soon as we became of the, aware of the possibilities that my sister could have that ordinary life and live her best life, you know, she was in her early 30s when we started. And still, we were able to help my sister completely change her life and in a very positive direction, and we have not looked back since, right? Sarah went from living with mom and dad, uh, spending most of her time in their home, to now having her own home, now being a part of the community, contributing at you know local in local community spaces with ordinary groups, with ordinary people that make up the ordinary community, right? This is possible for your loved one, and the best time to start creating that life plan is now. So if you're interested in getting started to create a life plan now with your loved one, I invite you to join my upcoming free life plan workshop where I'm going to show you how to create that awesome ordinary life and how it's possible, right? No matter where you live, no matter your loved one's disability, this is possible, right? Where your loved one can have more independence, more friends that care for them over the long term, where your loved one can contribute in the lives of other people, where your loved one's seen as valued, where your loved one can have a home of their own and have the right supports. So I've got a seat waiting for you in the free uh, life plan workshop and it's all online. So all you need to do is click the link below in the show notes here and register to get your free spot now. So I hope to see you there. I'm Eric Gall. Together, let's take a small step forward.